Okay, no. so. Bye. Look at your character sheet. See all of the beautiful, amazing equipment you have on it for your starting characters. You no longer have any of that. What? I would like you all to make... Does that include my clothes? You, I would like you all to make constitution saving throws. So you're going to roll a d20, and what you're going to do is you're going to look at your constitution modifier, add that, and if you're proficient in con saving throws, add your proficiency bonus. And then tell me what your numbers are. I got 11. No, 12. 12? Okay. Oh, 12. I got 10. I rolled okay. a 9. God damn it. Uh, are you Kyle got nine. Constitution. Crass. Uh, Crass I've got, got. Crass, what did you get? Sorry. Ten. Great, and then Graf. I also got ten. Did okay. I get the highest roll? On you that? did. Yep. Okay, so Celeste, you wake up in a poorly put together wooden cage. The last thing you remember is your. Uh, friends being raided upon by a goblin attack force, being captured and knocked unconscious. You do not have any of your equipment, your clothes are in rags, you do not see any of your equipment anywhere in the room. What you see of the room is you're in some corner of some cave somewhere, as you can see on the map. Inside the cave are four wooden cages containing three other people who you have never seen before in your life. It is an elf, a dwarf, and a human who are also in rags, also unconscious. At the door, there is a very poorly crafted wooden door made out of driftwood, outside of which you can see the, in the little one of the back head of some ugly, disfigured goblin on guard duty. What do you do? Alright, well, first and foremost, uh, my hood goes up. Up, and I look around. Um, is there anything on the floor of my cage? Any like rocks? Any rubble? Uh, anything I can grab onto with an arm's reach? Uh, there's a few kind of pebbles and small rocks, but the room is pretty barren as it goes. All right, I will pick up. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. Um, I look around and I pick up a small pebble um, and look over to who, who's closest to me. Okay, closest to you. You are the color orange. So closest to you is green. You have a human in a wooden cage closest to you. I pick up a small pebble and try to throw it at his head to wake him up. Okay, uh, make an attack roll with a pebble against uh, this, this uh, human. Alright, so how am I doing this attack roll? Uh, uh, just dex. D20 plus my dex. Oh, this is yeah. gonna go good. Who's ready? Oh boy. Alright, I rolled a 7. Okay. <laughs> The pebble goes right through the cage bars, right through the other side of the cage, and slacks and tickles against the wall. However, the percussive sound does wake up um, the person inside, the human, as well as the elf across the room. Now, um, Shira and... Um, I've already found names. Shira and Cyrus, you both wake up. You're in similar situations. You are in rags. You are uh, in separate little wooden cages, very poorly put together. Uh, you haven't got any of your equipment. You see these other people in the room. You've now got three of you awake. One of you still passed out in the remaining cage. The dwarf is still passed out. Do you two guys try and do anything? Uh, Celeste, do you do anything in addition? Um, so looking at the human... I think, and I'm like, okay, well, he's not going to be able to hear me. So I look to the other elf, and I try to whisper as low as I can. What's going on? I look at her, and uh, lacking tact, I yell back. I don't know. What do you think is going on? I okay. sit down and pretend that nothing is happening with my hood up. The goblin outside the door bangs. <laughs> Shut up. He has kind of a really weird, raspy voice. You can tell it's difficult for him to speak common. You shut up! Don't make me come in there! And then during this discourse, the dwarf wakes up. Uh, Karn, you wake up to find yourself in a room with two elves and a human in rags and separate wooden cages. Uh, one of the elves is having an argument with the goblin captor through the door. The last thing you remember, as does everyone else, is uh, whoever you were traveling with, if anyone at the time, being attacked by a goblin in force. Yeah, I told you to shut the hell up. Uh, excuse me, I can talk whenever the hell I want to talk. You're over you there in a cage. Good job coming over here. Do you want to fucking go? I mean, I define go. What are we doing when we go? <laughs> Oi! 
Oh, right. The goblin I'm starts yelling. Shut the hell up! As they're talking, the goblin comes in. To, as they're talking, you're arguing with each other. I look to the goblin and I say, "What are we in here for?" You are prisoners of Lord Daptrap, and you will yeah. keep well, quiet. Well, I don't want to talk to these people, they all seem like crazy. You do not sense any undead within the range that you can sense undead, which I can't remember offhand. But you, you just sense that you're in a very, fairly smelly cave with some strangers and a goblin who's been annoyed by the loudness of the prisoners he's in charge of. Do I think I can break this cage? Um, it's pretty poorly wood put together wood, but if you do, there is a goblin on the other side of the cage who will probably not be best pleased with you for trying. Yeah, well, I got a big whole pile of sticks if I actually break the cage, so I'm gonna beat his ass with a nightstick. Nice. Um, I wanna try and break the cage. Okay, I would like you to make a strength roll. You can use athletics if you have it. So that's gonna be roll d20, add your strength modifier, and then if you're proficient in athletics, you can add that plus two bonus as well. As he's uh, trying to break his cage, I'm gonna look over at him and I'm gonna go, Hey, big man! Break my cage too and I'll make it worth your while! The goblin turns around and comes to Grath. Oh, Grath. Wow. Oh, you smash the cage open. But as you do, the goblin comes up to you and punches you in the face. He's going to make an attack roll against you. We're not going to go into initiative for now. But he flails wildly, completely missing your cage, falling past you. It would appear that he's already had something to drink tonight. He's kind of loose on his footing. He rolled really poorly on his d20. Alright, so uh, it would probably take me a while to make an improvised weapon, so I could just punch him, right? Like, that's, I have that. You athletic. totally that's... can just punch him. Alright, let's, let's whip this boy's ass like he stole something. Yep, so uh, make an attack roll, add strength and uh, proficiency to your roll. Okay. While he's doing a, that... I rolled a I... 22. Right. Nice! Your punch connects square with this guy's head. Uh, roll some damage. Give me like a, a d4 plus strength modifier damage. Seven. Seven oh. damage. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so you knock this guy clean out. He's completely unconscious. He's gone from the world. You are in a pile of sticks with the other three still encaged. Uh, while this is going on, I would like to look at the lock and the uh, thing and see if I can jostle it. Open. There, the uh, way your cage is closed is just two sticks kind of slid together through the door okay, of the so cage. Can I use my sort of powers of wisdom to see a way to separate them to like as opposed to using brute strength using my my intelligence and my wisdom to find a way to unattach them and yeah, so like if you like put your arms through the cage and just kind of wriggle around a bit and are a little bit dexterous with it like you may be able to jiggle it loose uh, if you want to try doing that okay so is this a dex roll then and not yes. an intelligence roll yes unfortunately you can't think your way out of the cage without any equipment Oh, hey! Uh, I rolled a 16! Nice! So you kind of jimmy the little shaft holding everything in, and then you get the slides open and the door to the cage just kind of falls off. How dark is it in this area, in this room? Okay, there, the only light source is kind of the dim light coming through the cracks in the doorway. So... Well, I don't want to harm myself with a stick or something. I would like to look around the room and see if our equipment, or rather, my equipment, is around anywhere. I'm getting a naughty elf out of the cage too. <laughs> okay, yeah. make a make a strength roll to break over to break it over. While Grath's doing that, I'm gonna be inspired by his brute strength to try to roll and kick my way out of the cage. Make a make a strength roll as well. I rolled a ten. Something tells me I can't break your box. You uh, snap one of the bars off, but you don't manage to open it completely. I rolled a twelve. Yeah, you managed to break open one side and crawl your way out. You don't really need that much big of a space because you are a uh, somewhat diminutive dwarf. Right. I mean, we'll probably just keep going until we get out of the box. I'll just keep going. So oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you keep you going. Just keep uh, messing with those <laughs> sticks and get me out of here, okay. don't you? So all of you are out of your cages. You uh, I am meet looking each for other equipment. for the first time. They're in the room, you do not find your equipment. The room is entirely barren. 
<laughs> All right, so this uh, this goblin was clearly having something to drink. I'm going to roll to see if I can find whatever he had to drink. Okay. <laughs> roll uh, investigation. Uh, that's, uh, what is that, intelligence? Um, it would really help if I had a character yes. sheet in front of me. It's intelligence. Yes. Okay. While he's grubbing around for something to drink, I'm going to take up a defensive position in front of him. Oh, him. holy Christ, I rolled okay. a 19. No, 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 19. Nice. Whoa. Okay, so there's Grath in front of the door. Okay, so you can smell bo- the, the the goblin is booze soaked. Basically, he must have been at some kind of drinking party. He must have been like getting it on with his mates before he went on guard duty. So you're pretty sure that there must be a source of alcohol somewhere nearby. Awesome. I suggest to uh, Shira that we go find this fucking source of alcohol. Alcohol? Of course, that sounds like a fantastic plan. I'm all for anything that lubes up the night. <laughs> wow, such bravado. Okay, so, um, I let's... I would like to sorry, quickly look around yep. for, like, a stick, like, if there's a stick that looks somewhat like a quarterstaff to pick up and use as a pseudo-weapon. Yeah, sure, there's a bunch of broken sticks from your cage on the floor. All of you can grab a stick. Um, I'll do that. Uh, I'm a knight without his armor and his sword. I want to yeah. find it. Where's my shit? That's, oh, my, okay. that's my first So, thing. do you open the door? It's not locked. Uh, as long as it looks like they're all semi, semi ready to go. I mean, I'm not gonna... There's two women here, I can't leave them. Before he goes to open the door, I go, wait, 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 wait. Let me listen. So I push my ear, he- ear up against the door and listen to see if I can hear feet shuffling, loud music, anything. Make a perception check based on the sound if you get any bonus to that. Uh... No. Lame. And then perception is wisdom to 12. 14. 14. Okay, so you kind of hear kind of muffled through the door the sounds of uh, uh, tankards clinking of, of kind of goblin uh, song almost, it almost sounds like song but it's the most guttural disgusting thing you've ever heard especially as an elf it seems barbaric to you in its structure it has no rhythm it has no real melody no meter that you are used to but you can hear some merrymaking not far away all right so i look back to the my um, acquaintances, and I say, um, well, first it sounds... Of all, the music. Pardon? It sounds terrible. The music sounds terrible. Oh. They're drunk and partying. We may be able to sneak, but we will have to be quiet. I look pointedly at the drunk dwarf and say, <laughs> quiet! I reply back, screw that, they have booze, I want their booze. If you want their booze, all of it you need to quietly sneak otherwise they may dump it on the floor and waste your perfectly good alcohol is that really what you want this is acceptable to card like, don't worry i look to the okay. human okay. now and i say on your lead and back away from the door okay so door opens and then who's going out first? Me, for sure. Okay. Okay, so what you see is you are in a long-ass corridor. And then for those watching the stream, you should visualize each square, if you can make it out, is about five feet. Okay, so you're in a corridor with two exits. You can see there, and one room with a door. And you can hear the sound of merrymaking coming from this direction. Well, obviously we're not ready to make merry yet, and I know that there are people that way. I'm kind of more curious as to what's going on down to the left. I'm with the human and follow closely by. I'd rather not get Reluctantly agree, simply because I don't want to waste the booze. Sneakily. So yeah. everybody makes I, uh, some stealth sashay, rolls. Sashay behind them. Sashay, you know, swag in my hips and everything. Because you what need to look Everyone make a stealth roll. Yeah, everybody make a stealth roll. So that's gonna be uh, dex based. 